Hello. How are you? I'm really good, thank you. Nice. How was your day? Mm -hmm. I really be tired. Okay. What time do you finish work? I don't have. Uh, do, you, um, do you have a specific hour to finish your work? An hour is specific, but. And, and what time? I don't, I don't have hours to finish. Okay. What about the time to start? What time do you start in the morning? I start at 9, 9 a.m. 9 a.m. You work in a bank? No. Okay. I'm, I'm pedicurist. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. And, and where do you have your salon? We where? have a we have a clinic clinic of pedicure. Oh, where is it located? In Metro Sur. Oh, okay, good, good. Oh, that's nice. And do yeah, you? Yeah, do you I love my work. Sure, sure. And do you receive only ladies or do you receive men too? I receive men too, kids. Okay. Oh, good. Uh -huh. and, and do you charge by the session or how does it work? Um, how much I time? have to. Uh-huh, you have to? To learn because it uh, is very good pay pay oh, I don't know say how to say pagado paid good pay uh -huh. okay and how much I receive good pay good and how much is how much time is for one session how much time. Mm, 30 minutes 30 minutes or 45 minutes depends oh okay now in this situation okay so um when you say pedicure uh are you talking about a normal massage or does it have any like if, if i have pain on on my feet would that help is it medical or only a massage? It's, it's like a medical, like a podologo. Okay. Pedicure. Okay, good, good. And when did you start working doing this? When did you start? I start in... You started? I started in... Past tense, past tense. I started... Okay, I started... In 2017. Okay, like two years? Two years ago, three years ago. Three years ago, okay. And mm -hmm. what was your occupation before? I, I worked at Banco Azteca. Okay, good. And where do you live, Nelly? I live in the Troncal del Norte. Oh, uh -huh. is, is that near Ciudad Delgado or Apopa? Uh -huh. near, near Ciudad Delgado. Okay. Between Apopa and Ciudad Delgado. Okay, very good, very good. Okay. And what days do you have off? What are your days off? I work uh, one... Sunday and I I had day off on also on Monday. <laughs> on Monday. I work Sunday or 
Sunday or, morn or Monday. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it's possible that you I have to stay off. Okay. On Sunday or Monday. Okay, good, good. So you rest one day in the week. Uh, a day and a half. Oh, good. So you have a short day. Right? You have yes. a short day? Because when, other... when I work in, in the Sunday, I... Sorry? So when you work on Sunday, the following day is off. Uh-huh. At 2. At one 2 day p.m. One day and a half. Yes. Okay. Yes. Very good. Hello, Melvin. Good night, teacher. Good evening. Good night, How, are you? How are you? Everybody, thanks, teacher. Is some traffic. Okay. To come to my house. Sorry. Okay. Where are you, Melvin? Are you in San Salvador? Uh, yes, in San Salvador. In my house, I live in San Salvador. What part of San Salvador? Uh, near to Sacamil. Yes, near Sacamil. Yes. Okay, good. I work in Santa Elena and, and there is traffic because sure. the, the supermarket is really full. Yes, crowded. Yes. Yeah, I, I went to the supermarket today, like about 3 p.m., and it was crazy. Yes. Um, I, was, I was going only for some fruits, but when I saw the parking lot and a lot of people, I said, no. Not for today. I said, the bananas can wait. I have things to do. <laughs> yep. So, anyways. All right, so what's today's date? It's March uh, 11th. Yes, it's March 11th. What was yesterday? March 10th. Exactly, what's tomorrow? Um, March uh, 12th. March 12th, yes. How do you say pasado mañana in English? The day after tomorrow? No. Exactly. The day. Ah, really? <laughs> yeah. Can, can, can you, <laughs> Melvin, can you put it in the chat, please? Let me check. I don't, I don't see the... Okay, the day, I'll put it right here. The day after tomorrow. That is pasado mañana, mm. the day after tomorrow. How do you say anteayer in English? The day before yesterday. Exactly. Oh. Let me see this. What am I doing? The day before yesterday, right there. So, today is Wednesday, what's tomorrow? Tuesday. Tuesday or Thursday? Uh, uh, Thursday. Thursday. Okay, so, so today is Wednesday, Thursday. tomorrow is Thursday. What's the day after tomorrow? Friday. 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 What was the day before yesterday? Tuesday. The day before yesterday? Monday. Monday. Ah. Monday. Oh, really? Yes, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Don't worry. All right. Um, let's talk about yesterday. Um, do you guys remember the topics that we covered? Um, going to? Going to, very good. What's the function of going to? He talks about the future. Okay, good. Cecilia, can you hear me? Yes. 
Okay. Cecilia, can you give me one example of going to, to talk about future? Um, example, uh, yesterday I went to walk the dog. One more time. I'm going to walk the dog. I'm going to work. Walk, walk the dog. Okay. Walk you're going the dog. Oh, you're going to walk the dog. Okay. Do you have animals in your house, Cecilia? Yes. What do you have? Um, do you have cats or dogs? Dogs. Okay, good. All right. Um, Nelly, can you hear me? Yes. Can you give me one negative example of going to? I'm not going to drink coffee. Good. I'm not going to drink coffee because it's too late. Yes. And uh, I can't sleep. <laughs> ah, the same thing happens to me. If I drink coffee after 5 p.m., I have insomnia. <laughs> so that's why I prefer hot tea. Yeah. Uh -huh. Hot tea is the opposite. It relaxes your system. Okay. Yes. And um, Vladimir, can you hear me? Yes, yes. Okay, can you ask me a question using going to? Okay, teacher. Um, can you going to? Are you going to? Are you going to my house on Sunday? I don't know if you invite me. <laughs> okay. Are you going to have a barbecue? Yes. Okay, send me the address. Okay, very good. <laughs> where, where do you live, Vladimir? In Soyapango. Oh, Soyapango. Okay, yes. what, what part? Uh, near to you, Plaza Mundo. Yes, you mentioned near Plaza Mundo. Yes. Do you know Colonia Florencia? Uh, no, no, no. You don't, don't know that neighborhood? Uh, no. Okay. Fine, good. All right, so for today, we have different activities. But before we start, do you have any questions about yesterday? Any questions or comments? No questions. Okay, good. How do you say, um, What's the word in Spanish? When you read the newspaper, the main news? Mm. Like the most important news of the day. Titulares. Titulares. In English, you say headline. Headline. Headline, yes. What was the headline for today? For today is a virus. Exactly. What did the president say? The quarantine? The? The quarantine? Yes. Quarantine. Quarantine. Yes, the quarantine. Exactly. Yeah. And that is bad news for the country. Yes. In all aspects, economy, safety, health, it's, it's bad for the country in all aspects. What prevention can we take for the coronavirus? What prevention? Can you hear me? 
Cleaning the hands. Cleaning your hands. Yes. yes. What else? Alcohol. Yes. You clean your hands with alcohol. Alcohol. Uh, alcohol. How do you say medida in English? Measure. Yes, very good. Measure. It's right there. Measure. Do you see the chat? Yes. Measure. Measure. Okay, so measure is medida. So, um, you said wash your hands. Is there any other measure to prevent coronavirus? How do you say taparse? Taparse what? Al, al toser. Okay, cover. To okay. use cover. You cover your mouth. Okay. Why do you cover your mouth? When you... <coughs> What's the name of that? How do you say toser in English? Cough. 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 Pronunciation sounds like F, so you say cough. 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 Yes, cough. Okay. okay, so let me share some some information with you, some vocabulary. Do you see the document? Yes. Yes. Okay. What is yes. the name of the document? Vocabulary relate to coronavirus. Okay. Very good. Vocabulary related to coronavirus. To coronavirus. Yes. Do Do you know why they call it coronavirus? Why the name? Why that specific name? Por qué se le llama coronavirus? Do you know? Alguien sabe? La bacteria tiene como coronita. Exactly. La bacteria, tal como lo dice la compañera, al verlo en un microscopio, tiene la forma como que fuese una corona. So, but, but it can't name crown virus. No, uh, no, the, the name is uh, standard. The name is standard. Mm. No sé si vieron también de que la venta de la cerveza Corona ha bajado. Really? Es en serio, ha bajado la, 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 porque la gente de una manera u otra la, la relaciona con la cerveza y ha bajado la corona. Y tan buena que es, no sé cómo es que ha bajado. Ha bajado la venta, pero no el precio, teacher. Exactly. So, co co corona is really good. Lemon and, lemon and salt. Con 90. Oh, my God. Okay. So, how do you pronounce um, the first word? Cough. 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 Aquí le he puesto como suena el último sonido. Suena como una F. Cough. cough. And what's the meaning of cough? Tos. Tos o toser. Puede ser un verbo y también puede ser un nombre. Cough. So, cough can be a symptom. A cough mm -hmm. can be a symptom. Okay, so that is number one. What about number two? How do you pronounce number two? Sneeze. 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 Okay, everybody say sneeze. 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 Yeah, sneeze. La S suena solita. Usted no va a decir sneeze, sino que usted va a decir sneeze. 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 And, and what's the meaning of sneeze? Exactly. So you said, achoo. That sneeze. 
right? How do you pronounce number two? Sneeze. Sneeze. What do you say when a person sneezes? Bless you. Exactly. The complete word is... God, God bless, bless you. you. But many times people only say bless you. It's and it's accepted. Common. Yeah, it's more common. People say bless you uh, more than God bless you. Because in some cases, the expression God bless you is a little bit related with religion. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. So people say bless you. And what is the compliment when someone says bless you? What are you supposed to say? Yeah, thank you. Exactly. Well, if I say bless you, you're supposed to say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. How do you pronounce number three? Quarantine. 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 And what's the meaning of quarantine? Quarantena. 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 Okay. And what is the meaning of quarantena? How many days? 30. 30? 40? I understand that it's 40. Okay. Yeah. Quarantena. It comes from the word cuarenta. 40. Quarantine. Yes. Now, what happens if you are coming from countries like Italy, China, or Spain? When you arrive to the airport, what are they going to do with you? You can't pass. What is it? You can't pass. Exactly. You can't pass. They, you need to stay there. <laughs> Oh, someone oh. is coughing. Coronavirus. Oh, coronavirus. Bye in, bye. In the video conference. Ya ven, hasta, hasta los micrófonos tienen que limpiar. Okay, anyways, what about number four? Mask. Mask. What is mask. a mask? What's a mask? Mascara. Okay. Mascarilla. What okay. parts what parts do you cover when you use a mask? The mouth. Only mm -hmm. the mouth? In the nose? No. Exactly. The mouth and the nose. Now, what parts of your body you are not supposed to touch with your hands? The face. But what parts exactly? Nose, mouth. The mouth. Okay, the mouth, the nose, and? Eyes. Eyes, the exactly. Eyes. So don't touch your eyes, don't touch your nose, and don't touch your mouth. That is a measure of prevention. Okay, what about number five? Nationwide. 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 What's the meaning of nationwide? A nivel nacional. Nationwide. Okay, how do you say how do you say medidas in English? How do you say medidas in English? Measure. Measures. Measure. So the measures that the president announced today are nationwide, not only for San Salvador, nationwide. Nationwide. Yes. What about number six? Worldwide. 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 A nivel mundial. Exactly. A nivel mundial. Worldwide. Worldwide. Yes. Worldwide. So when you say worldwide, we're talking about pandemic. Do you remember pandemic? Pandemia. Pandemia. Yes. 
And what is the meaning of pandemia? Can you explain the word pandemia in English? Um, it's a disease. Uh -huh. uh, disease on worldwide. No. Okay. Yes. Yes. Very good. It's a disease that affects worldwide. Very good. Very okay. good. What about number seven? Allergy. 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 Yes, allergies are different. You can have an allergy on your skin. You can have an allergy on your nose. Different types of allergies. And number eight is flu. Flu. What is flu. the meaning of flu? Gripe. Gripe. Pero una gripe seria. Una gripe seria. Porque si nosotros decimos las gripes que llegan dos días, ese es un cold. Viene siendo como un resfriado. So you say, oh. I have a cold. Tengo gripe. Pero si usted dice flu, no solamente gripe, sino que llega a temperatura, lleva tos, se le tapa la nariz y bla, bla, bla. So the flu is more serious than the cold. Okay. Um, do you have any questions about this? No. How do no, you pronounce no. number one? Cough. 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 How do you Cough. pronounce number two? Sneeze. Sneeze. How do you pronounce number three? Quarantine. 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 What about number Quarantine. four? How do you spell, uh, how, how do you pronounce number four? Mask. mask. What about number five? Nationwide. Okay, remember, nation. Nation. Nationwide. Nationwide. Yes, nation. Nation. Nationwide. Yes, nation. What about number six? Worldwide. 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 Number seven? Allergy. Allergy. Very good. And the last one is? Flu. 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 Excellent. Very good. All right, so let's change topics now. Um, do you remember the topics we discussed on Monday, the first day of the class? Remember we were talking about the months, we were talking about calendars? In the days, the, the numbers. Exactly. So we're talking about months and dates. Do you see the image? Yes. Yes. Okay. What's yes. the name of the image? Holiday in the U.S. Very good. What is the meaning of U.S.? United States. United States. Okay. Listen, listen. United States. Not United. United States. United, United States. States. Okay. United How States. Yes. How many syllables do you hear in the word united? How many syllables? Three. One. United. How many? United. Three syllables. Three, Three syllables. is correct. Three is mm. correct. So now you know that the, cor the correct pronunciation is united, not unice. United. Aquí en El Salvador decimos unite, pero en inglés eso no existe. Sí. Usted le pregunte, ¿y su hermano? Allá está en los unite. Unite. ¿y qué es eso? Unite. United. United States. What is the capital of the United States? Washington. Yes. Washington, D.C. Washington, D.C. To be more exact. Very good. Um... What's the meaning of DC? ¿Qué significa el DC? Distrito Central? Not really. District of Columbia. Columbia. <laughs> District Columbia. Yeah, Columbia, not Colombia, Columbia. 
Colombia. Colombia. Colombia is in South America. What is the capital of Colombia? Bogota. Yes, Bogota. Mm -hmm. All right, so in the picture, we have six different holidays. Do you recognize the holidays here? What is the first holiday? New Year's Day. January New Year's first. Day. New Year's Day. Now, yeah, let me yeah. ask you, is the celebration January 1st or December 31st? December 31st. December 31st. Now, the celebration, the party is December 31st, but the official, yeah. the official day is January 1st. Now, let me ask you, in El Salvador, how do we celebrate December 31st? What is a traditional 31 here in El Salvador? We celebrate with the family. Yes. What else? Uh, with a dinner. In with a dinner, yes. Pan con pollo. Yes. Pan con pollo for two or three days. <laughs> Recalentado. Exacto. <laughs> Recalentado. <laughs> yes. Okay, what about Valentine's? How do Salvadorians celebrate Valentine's? February. February. Okay, but how? How do we celebrate Valentine's? Going dinner? Going Good. out? Yes. Bring some gift. Aha, uh -huh, exactly. You give gift, you give presents. What is the traditional present for Valentine's? Chocolate. Flowers. Chocolate. Flowers, flowers, chocolates. Uh huh. Only flowers and chocolate? Bears. Um, bears. Teddy bears. Teddy bears. Uh huh. Okay. Yes, exactly. Um, now, when you say teddy bear, you're exactly saying ositos, ah. but ositos is only one, oh. one option. If you want to say a general, if you want to say peluche in general, you say stuffed animals. Ah. Ahorita se lo voy a poner en el chat de, de WhatsApp. Okay. Ahorita no puedo bajar la, la, minimizar esto. Let me see, it's right here. Stuffed animals. Do you see it? Animals. Yes. Okay, stuffed animals. La, stuffed palabra, animals. la palabra stuffed se ocupa en diferentes ocasiones. Stuffed quiere decir algo que va relleno de algo más. Entonces, okay. esas figuritas de animales, ¿de qué están rellenas? Algodón. Exactly. Exactly. Entonces, si ese stuff, ¿cómo voy a decir chile rellenos? <laughs> stuff peppers. Exactly. <laughs> stuff pepper. Very good. <laughs> How do you say pescado relleno? Stuff fish. fish. Exactly. Fish. Exactly. Fish. Ok, y si hablamos okay. de los pancitos que le preparan en la mañana, ¿cómo va a decir? Stuffed bread. Stuffed, Stuffed bread. bread, exactly. Stuffed bread. That is correct. Good. Ok, um, independence. When is independence in the United States? July 4th. July 4th. Right? Exactly, July 4th. When is independence in El Salvador? September 15th. Okay. Now, in El Salvador, how do we celebrate independence? Uh, with himno nacional. Uh, okay. Ahí se lo tiro ahorita al chat. Mire lo que dice ahí. Parades. Parades. ¿Ya lo recibió? Yes. 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 Parades. ¿Qué significa parades? Desfiles. Desfiles, exactly. Yes, we have parades. 
Now, traditionally, in El Salvador, we have three different parades. Do you remember? The, the traditional parade. Mm, the military. Uh, Only the military? No. Escolar. Okay, the school parade, military parade, okay. and police parade. Oh. oh. Do you remember? Yes. Okay. Van a ver ustedes los desfiles. No. 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 Yes. No. <laughs> Yo no me lo pierdo. Ningún año me lo, no me lo he perdido. <laughs> I like it. Okay. Now, in, in the United States, how do they celebrate independence? Uh, fireworks. Exactly. Mire la, mire la foto que está ahí. ¿Qué, qué ven ahí? Exactly. Uh -huh. So you say fireworks. En inglés decimos fireworks. Ahí está en el chat. Fireworks. Quiere decir eh, las luces, por decir así. Ok. What about Halloween? When is Halloween? October. Sorry. 31st. Okay. Sorry. And what happens in Halloween? What happens in Halloween? The people use, um, how to say? Aquí se tiro en el chat ahorita. Customs. Customs. Yeah. Customs tiene muchos significados, incluyendo disfraces. Customs. ¿Qué otra cosa significará customs? Significa también costumbres y también significa aduanas. Mm -hmm. Lo conocía yes. como oh. Customs. Custom podría usarse en el puerto, en puertos. Yes, así es. Si hay aduana, definitivamente lo puede ocupar, definitivamente. Yes, there is. Exactly. So you see customs in the airport. How do you say frontera in English? Border. Bo border. 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 Yes. Border. So, ¿dónde puede encontrar aduana? Borders, airports, or ports. Ports. Puertos, aeropuertos, fronteras. Y todo el punto donde exista una aduana, usted lo aplica ahí, dice customs. Okay, yes. custom. Yeah, customs. Pero le tiene que poner la S, customs. Customs. Para que diga aduana, tiene que poner la S por obligación, customs. Yeah. Okay, customs. Yes. All right, uh, what about Thanksgiving? When is Thanksgiving? Um, When? November the the three something. Okay. Fecha no existe. Lo que sí existe ya un día estipulado. When is Thanksgiving? I think it's the third Sunday in the month. Okay, it's the fourth Thursday. Oh, fourth Thursday. Yes. What happens the next day? What happens the next day? ¿Qué pasa un día después de Thanksgiving? I don't know. Mm, I don't Black know. Friday. <laughs> Black Friday. Black Friday. Friday. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Entonces, eh, celebran el Thanksgiving el, eh, un jueves, el, el último jueves de mes, y justo el siguiente día es Black Friday. Okay, now, are you familiar with Thanksgiving? No. Not really? No. En Pero El Salvador, ya... no tradition en El Salvador. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> Pero probablemente usted tiene familia ya o digamos yes, su compañía yes. tiene conexión con Estados Unidos. Hablan del día de, yes. de gracias. 
Yes. Le dicen también el día del pavo. Yes. Aquí en El Salvador, ¿cuándo es el día del pavo? Never. Christmas. Christmas. Yeah. Exactly, <laughs> Christmas. Eh, para nosotros el día del pavo es el 24 y el 31. Para ellos es el Thanksgiving. Yes. Uh -huh. ¿Y se puede en la historia de Thanksgiving? Uh, no. ¿Se lo puede decir? El presidente, la... el presidente... Hello. Can you hear me? Yes. 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 Ok, Thanksgiving, en menos de 10 segundos. Llegaron los ingleses a Estados Unidos y los recibieron los nativos. Eh, a pesar de estar en una tierra nueva donde el clima era exageradamente helado y no sabían dónde estaban, eh, Dios fue bien, eh, ¿cómo se dice? Generoso con ellos. Ellos lo reconocieron y ahí empezó la tradición. Anyways, y nos vamos con Christmas. When is Christmas? December 25. December 25. 25. 25. December 25. Yes. Ahí en el chat le voy a tirar una palabra que se llama Eve. ¿Alguien sabe lo que significa Eve? Eve quiere decir víspera. So, entonces, Christmas is on December 25th. In El Salvador, when do we celebrate? When? In 24th. Okay, and what's the name of the 24th? Yeah. Yeah. Bar Elena. Yeah. 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 By el 25 dijimos que es Navidad. Entonces, ¿cómo voy a decir el 24 de diciembre? ¿Cómo se llamará ese día? Nadie. Ajá. ¿Cuál palabra les acabo de tirar ahí? Eve. Eve. Entonces voy a decir Christmas Eve. Oh, Christmas Eve. Oh, Christmas Eve. Christmas, Christmas Eve. Eve, yes. So, in El Salvador, people celebrate Christmas Eve. December 24th. Yes, December 24th is Christmas Eve in El Salvador, and people celebrate. Entonces, me regreso al primer holiday, y decimos New Year's Eve. Entonces, ¿cómo se le va a llamar el 31 de diciembre? New Year's Day Eve. Solamente, New Year's Eve. Eve. Oh. New Year's Eve. Okay. Víspera New de Año New Nuevo. Year's New okay. Year's Eve. So, in El Salvador, we celebrate New Year's Eve. In other words, it's December 31st. Any questions there? No. No. Everything is clear? Yes. 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 Okay, yes. good. All right. So let's change activity. Y esta es la última actividad que tenemos para el día de ahora. Um, do you remember going to? Yes. 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 All right. We said that going to is to make questions. Do you see the document? Yes. Yes. Okay. So in the document, we have questions. Usted lo que tiene que hacer es um, hacer la, la, la pregunta completa con la información que está ahí. Ok, let me see this here. Pam, pam, pam. Vamos a... Si puede tomar captura de imagen ahorita, hágalo. En todo caso, se la voy a enviar ahorita al chat. So, I need a volunteer que, no, que, que me ayude con el, haciendo la número uno, para que todos estemos en la misma sintonía y los ponga a trabajar en pareja. Volunteer for number one. Acuérdense, todas son preguntas, todas son preguntas. Entonces, ahorita que usted llega a su casa, un ejemplo. 
¿Cómo le va a decir a su esposo o a su esposa qué vamos a comer hoy en la noche? Where we perdón, to, ¿dónde? Perdón, ¿dónde vamos a comer hoy? Where we to, to going, going to eat tonight. Ok, one more time. Where, oh, we, where we to eat tonight. Ok, listen to this. Como es pregunta, el verbo to be va primero. Where are we, where are we, where are going we going to eat tonight? Ahora, si, si yo estoy confirmando, yo le puedo decir, mire, ¿y dónde nos vamos a ver? Y usted me dice, ¿a dónde vamos a comer? Pero ya lo está confirmando, pero aquí todas son preguntas. So, where are we going to eat tonight? What's the answer? We are going to eat tonight. We're going to eat at Wendy's. Is it clear? ¿Está claro lo que vamos a hacer? Yes, yes. no, maybe. Yes. Con, con esta información, la que le voy a poner ahorita de azul, usted va a ocupar esa información para hacer las preguntas completas, así como le modelé la número uno. En la número uno solo nos daban cuatro palabras, una, dos, tres, cuatro. Obviamente estaba incompleta para hacerla toda como debe ser, uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete. Le tuve que poner tres palabras más para que quedara correcta. Are we ready? ¿Estamos listos? Yes. yes. All right, let's do this. Vamos a ver, here we go. Mire, esta gente se asustó con el coronavirus, solo cinco hay. <risa> Ya van a decir que se pasa por los alambres. Ok. Ok, here we go. Finally. Hello. I have a problem with the chat, the the WhatsApp, and I don't see the the, the chat. question. Yes, nothing. Vale, la segunda es tenemos las palabras. What he do tomorrow? So. I think is what is he going to do tomorrow? What is he do tomorrow? Going to do tomorrow. Ah, what is what is he going to do tomorrow? Uh -huh. Teacher, no me sale el chat, fíjese, no aparezco en el chat, no sé por qué. Eh, vamos a ver. Ahorita se lo envío igual que anoche, Melvin. Sí, no sé por qué no. Yo le di en el link, pero no. Tengo abierto acá en, en la web, pero no, no, no estoy en el grupo, no sé por qué. Ok, no problem. Mire si ya le cayó. Sí. Good, very good. Thank you. Sure. Se lo tengo right. en el... Practice, practice. Car, carry the shopping for me. 
Algo así bueno, bueno. como quién podría ir a comprar por mí. Ah. Ok, let me see. What, what number? Four. 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 Who can? Oh. Going to. Ok, who is going to carry the shopping for me? ¿Quién le va a ayudar con los comprados, con las bolsas? Ok. Carry, carry. Carry es cargar. Oh, cargar. Uh -huh. Entonces, who, who going? No. Who is no. going? Who is going? Who is going, Who is going to carry going? the shopping for me? Ajá. Ya sabe okay. que ir cargando esas bolsas no es nada agradable. Sí. Mm -hmm. teacher, teacher, en la 3 sería what I'm, I'm I to going. I'm ocupamos ahí. Ajá. Pero acuérdese, como todas son preguntas. Usted tiene que poner el verbo to be al inicio. Entonces usted va a preguntar, what am I going to eat? What am I going to eat for lunch? Exactly. What am I going to eat for lunch? Okay. Yes. What number are you doing right now? Uh, five. Okay, good. What time is going? No, what time are you going are to you phone going me? To what time are you? What time are Vladimir. Hi, teacher. Hello, Vladimir. Hi, How are hi. you? I'm fine. Great. Good. Who was your partner? Who was the meaning's partner? Partner. ¿Quién era su compañero o compañera? Oh, Cecilia and... No recuerdo cuál era el otro. Ok. ¿Y, ¿Y qué se hizo toda la gente? No aparece. <risa> ¿Para no dónde se fueron? Que... Ok. They're coming back. Ahí está. Ok. Ok. Melvin, can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Yes. Cecilia, can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Gerardo, are you there? Hello. Can you hear me, Gerardo? Yes, yes, I do. Ha estado callado hoy. ¿Qué le pasó? <laughs> Were you on vacation? <laughs> no, no. Okay, good. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to finish right now. Um, we continue tomorrow with the same lesson. And thank you for connecting. Thank you. Have a good night. Thank you. Good night, everybody. Good night. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye.